suppose you're, you're a parent, you're a busy parent, you wake up in the morning, get ready for work, and you start getting your child ready for school or daycare, and they got the sniffles, or you hear some coughing or a little fever, then great, what do you do? Do, do, you, do you call off work? Do you call off daycare? Or, or do you maybe try to send them and see what happens? You know, oftentimes parents just don't know what to do at all. Well, it's, it's a, a tough dilemma. question, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's yeah. a dilemma because you're gonna lose money you know, that you mm -hmm. need to take care of your child, and then who's gonna, you know, who's gonna watch the child during the day? Yeah. It's a very tricky question, yeah. so that's why a lot and of parents will sit there. And I've often seen that maybe my, my kids are coughing a little bit in the morning, it may maybe sound be pretty bad, and I have them stay home from school, but literally an hour later, they're running around and fine, they fine all day, and I'm like, you could have gone to school. Right. And I think that's really important, looking at your child's demeanor. This is very timely in my house because I was up all night with my daughter who has a fever <laughs> last night. Uh, so first thing this nice. morning, we called the school to say she wasn't coming, she's two and a half. So it's hard because if you, you can't send them to school or daycare until they have no cough and cold symptoms, they can't go all winter long. Mm -hmm. So you right. have to look at what they could give to another child and mm -hmm. what could be serious, like fever. Right, and, and yeah. usually the daycare will have some sort of guideline, okay, fever, coughing, rashes, something that's obviously vomiting, contagious, diarrhea. vomiting, yeah. pink eye is a big one. big one. And it's usually because they're contagious. Mm -hmm. That's the usual reason you don't, the daycare doesn't want them there because then all the other kids are sick. But and all the other parents have to miss But they work. got sick usually from yeah. daycare. Yeah, right. So. <laughs> yeah, right. So in the end, it's a... You know, that's where it's nice to have maybe a backup daycare where it's a relative that's just going to take care of just the child. Gonna, Even yeah. if they're sick, they can still go. Well, that would be yes. an ideal yeah. world. Can we talk yes. about breast implants or something? <laughs> <laughs> and what about, what about symptoms? You know, we always talk about mucus and cough on this show. Is there a that's certain right. cough or mucus? Are there well, things like that we should look at? Yeah, and that's a good thing. A lot of parents, you know, when they're first-time parents, they're not going to know this, but you learn on the job. And I'm going to show you if there's a few different examples of mucus here. And usually when you, when you get a cold, especially at the beginning, it's usually pretty clear. Clear mucus, or even if, you, if you're not sick at all. Clear mucus is actually normal. Most people, when you're not sick, make about a liter of clear mucus a day. Mm -hmm. It just flows back, it gets swallowed, and kind of recycled into the body. Now, as that cold lasts a few days, it maybe turns into a sinus infection or a, a deep cold or even you're coughing up stuff. That's when you get the thicker green-yellow or just even thick, clear white mucus. And that's usually a sign that something's kind of set in and uh, oftentimes, you know, depending on how the child's acting, that's one thing. It's never just one thing. You can never look at just mucus. Is there fever? How are they eating? Are they playful? And you know you commonly get asked by parents, well, they have yellow-green mucus. Doesn't mm -hmm. that mean they have a more serious infection? Right. And we know that's not the, yeah. that, not the case. Mm -hmm. It's actually the inflammatory cells, the neutrophils, mm -hmm. that change the color of the mucus. Yeah, so, so this green isn't and, bacteria. And, it's not yes, bacteria. And, it's, and that is traditional. Yes teaching that uh -huh. a lot of parents believe green does not necessarily mean, oh my gosh, it's antibiotics. Bacteria. It doesn't exactly. mean antibiotics. I get colds all the time and I get thick mucus and it goes away. What about a cough? Right. You know, often parents are, you're on the phone, okay, he's got a really wet cough or a junky cough or a cruddy cough or a chesty cough or a dry cough. Right. You know, how do you, oftentimes it's hard to, to decipher without me actually hearing the cough, what sure. kind of cough it is. And so for parents at home, I'm gonna play some, a, a quick wet cough. So that's the, the child's obviously coughing through mucus. Maybe it's in the in the back of the throat or in the chest, kind of coughing up stuff. And uh, you know, what does that mean? Does that mean it's bronchitis? Right. Maybe. Maybe not. It really depends on what are the other symptoms. How long is he coughing? A wet cough a couple of times a day is basically clearing their throat. Right. A wet cough constantly could be pneumonia. And that's a, that's another common misconception. Parents always hear that wet cough, and the first mm -hmm. the first question is, it's in their chest. They must have pneumonia. Right. And what I tell parents is, a lot of times in babies, especially, that mucus drips in the back of their throat. It's in the upper airway. So when they cough and breathe, you hear that rattle. You feel that mm -hmm. shake in the chest, but it's not in their lungs at right. all. It's yeah. upper airway. Okay. And then now here's what a dry cough sounds like. <coughs> And that's usually more from that irritated, the irritated, itchy throat that could be from postnasal drip, mild, or, or cold, or even, you know, I hate to confuse people, but pneumonia too. It can be a dry sounding cough. But don't diagnose your child based upon their cough, except mm. for maybe croup. But right. in general, Oops. how does your child look with that Different. cough? You're good at that. That's the yeah. most important thing. Practice. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard a lot of croup. <laughs> that's right. Sure.